This explosion was not an accident. Don't worry, no one was hurt. In fact, SpaceX and NASA blew up this Falcon 9 rocket to make sure no one gets hurt. The explosion was actually an in-flight abort test, and it's essential to making sure the Falcon 9 is ready to take people into space. Well, not this Falcon 9, of course. The Falcon 9 rocket is the world's first reusable orbital class rocket, which means it's designed to deliver cargo to or beyond Earth's orbit and land safely back on Earth after each launch. In this case, that cargo is theoretically people. The rocket is made up of two parts, the Falcon 9 rocket itself and the Crew Dragon capsule. The capsule is designed to bring passengers to space, or at least it will if all of this testing is successful. SpaceX has been launching the Falcon 9 since 2010, but none of its missions have had humans aboard, just supplies for the International Space Station, satellites, and other cargo. Now, SpaceX is closer to flying human passengers than ever before. Miko, Dragon launch escape initiated. Dragon's away! This in-flight abort test was meant to assess the Crew Dragon's escape system. In case of a rapid unscheduled disassembly, the technical term for an unplanned explosion, the Crew Dragon is designed to detach from the Falcon 9 and propel itself and the humans inside away from the rocket. The capsule lets loose a parachute and drifts safely down to Earth, while the Falcon 9 does not. And it worked. Now, if blowing up a multi-million dollar rocket seems like a waste, there's actually a very good reason for it, Apollo 1. Apollo 1 was supposed to be the first manned Apollo mission, but during a pre-flight test, a fire swept through the command module and killed all three astronauts on board. The accident was preventable. It happened in 1967, three years before former President John F. Kennedy's deadline to put a man on the moon by the end of the decade. Some experts believe it was this pressure that pushed NASA and the project's contractor, North American Aviation, to cut corners at the expense of safety. The capsule's air supply was pure oxygen, instead of a mixed gas environment of oxygen and nitrogen. The pure oxygen system was simpler and lighter, but also much more flammable. The Apollo 1 Accident Review Board determined that damaged wires caused an electrical arc lighting up the inside of the cabin. It took 10 seconds for the command module to fill with flames and less than a minute for all three astronauts to perish. The investigation into the incident halted the space program, almost putting an end to it entirely, but it eventually gave way to a new, stricter system of checks and balances that apply to NASA missions to this day, including the Falcon 9. It took seven years between JFK's moon speech and the Apollo 11 mission to successfully put a man on the moon. The Falcon 9 is now moving into its 11th year of operation without even carrying a human crew. What could be seen as a sign of slow progress is actually the opposite. In the end, taking the time to test and lessons learned from the past could save lives in the future.